this is Kapil Chaudhary again. Today this is the second class of title prediction and I'm going to speak to you about how to find out the title predictions for second report in Europe. We are talking about 1992 title prediction tables and that time there were three volumes of title tables. Volume 1 covered British and European ports. Now today uh, because uh, we are going to deal with the, the second report uh, I would like to talk to you a little bit about how to get used to the tables what are the different parts of the type tables so at the beginning on the back side of the cover page we have the list of standard ports so if you want to know in say for example volume 1 what are the standard ports all the standard ports are listed there if you see the back page at the back of the book you have alphabetic list of ports giving the port number or I would like to call it title port number so you don't get the page number when you get the title port number for example in present case I'm going to find out the title predictions for Dramor on 10th of April so when I open the back side of the front page I don't find Dramor there that means Dramor is not a standard port then what I do is I go back to the last pages of the volume there I find Dramor with a certain number the number of Dramor port is say 420 what I do with this 420 I come to the part 2 of the volume as I said the type table is divided in three parts part 1 is standard port predictions part 2 is height and time difference of the second report and part 3 is harmonic constants so you want to find out the height of tide by harmonic constant method you can find out and part 3a is tidal streams now <clears throat> when I come to part 2 which is the second report height and time difference what I see there is this port is listed as Dramore is listed 420 and details are given uh, against Dramore now if I go vertically upwards or backwards the first bold letter port that I get is Liverpool which means Liverpool is the standard port for Drumbo which means probably the uh, tidal pattern of Drumbo relates to Liverpool so what I must do is I must go to part 1 what are the predictions given in part 1 I write down so Liverpool as you can see high water is 8 meters low water is 2.4 meters and so on the first tidal prediction time that is given is 0038 for 8 meters 1030 2.4 etc so I've written down the Liverpool times these are the predictions from part 1 as you can see 452 Liverpool and these are the timings written for high water the four timings which are written are 00 12 06 00 1800 so at 00 and 1200 the time difference is plus 30 at 06 and 1800 the time difference is plus 40 same way if you consider the low water at Liverpool at 0200 0, 0 and 1400 the time difference for Dramore is plus 15 at 0800 0, 0, 0 and 2000 the time difference for Dramore is plus 20 minutes 452 is Liverpool and 420 is Dramore now if you consider the height uh, 9.3 and 7.4 are mean high water spring and mean high water neap heights same way 2.9 and 0 0.9 2.9 is mean low water neap and 0 0.9 which is very shallow is mean low water springs if you see the corresponding time difference for drummer is minus 3.4 for 9.3 minus 2.5 for 7.4 minus 0 0.9 for 2.9 minus 0 0.3 for 0 0.9 the seasonal correction also I have taken down for the two ports 415 to 444 on the 1st of April the seasonal correction is minus 0 0.1 and on the 1st of May the seasonal correction is minus 0 0.1 if you consider 445 to 464 the seasonal correction is minus 0 0.1 on the 1st April and nil on the first May. So we proceed now. Let's find out the height difference. In this part, I will make the table uh, standard. We start with standard port heights. 
Now, to write the standard port heights, uh, the first height that I am given is the high water. So, I will write high water here. Then it is low water. Then it is again high water and low water. I will write down all the timings, standard port heights. It is 8.0, 2.4, 7.7 and 2.8 meters. Now the first correction that I do is I change the sign and apply the seasonal correction. I call it negativing of seasonal correction. Whatever is seasonal correction, I want to negative. The idea is I want to have the raw height. The seasonal correction which is given for the ports between 445 and 464, Liverpool comes there. The correction is minus 0.1 on the 1st April, nil on the 1st May. So probably on the 10th April we may say that the correction is minus 0.07 and we reverse the correction. That means we change the sign and apply it everywhere. So it will be plus 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 0 0.07, 2.87. This is the basic heights. Now, to this basic height, I am going to apply now the height difference for the second report. And I had told you in my last lecture that height difference is the only place, height difference for the second report is the only area where the extrapolation is allowed. Otherwise, in tight calculation, what we are doing by admiralty method, nowhere nowhere the extrapolation is permitted. So we are free to do extrapolation. Now if I have to correct the high water which is 8.07 and 7.77 I need to look at this particular window and I will also do the exercise of interpolating. Let us see how the interpolation can be made easy. What I do is I write the values which are given for the standard port that is mean high water neeps and mean high water spring in increasing order say 7.4 and then 9.3 for 7.4 the correction is minus 2.5 and for 9.3 the correction is minus 3.4 what is important is I write the standard port values in increasing order what is the difference between this the difference between them I write in denominator the difference between them is 1.9 now I want to find out what is the relevant correction for 8.07 now 8.07 I write here and what is the difference between 8.07 and 7.4 I will write it here 0 0.67 now 0 0.67 upon 1.9 will give you a factor this is called a factor how do you do interpolation without getting tired so what I suggest the student what you must do is the primary value you should write in increasing order. Don't worry about this part. Now to do the to do the interpolation, what I do is the second value I take that is minus 3.4 minus the first value that means plus 2.5 equal to and then multiply by factor whatever I get add to the first. So it is minus 3.4 plus 2.5 equal to multiplied by factor. So whatever we get, we add to the first value that is minus 2.4. So what I get is minus 2.82. Minus 2.82. Now we want to find out the height difference for 7.77. We get minus 2.67. That is the correct.